Okay, now for the welcome back, Engineering 110. This is the A level version of the problem. Uh, the problem is here's an application of using matrices. Uh, I've got a set of points, some data. You go into the physics lab and you're graphing, I don't know, you're graphing uh, the velocity as a function of time for some little cart on some track. And you get these different data points. And you think that these data points all kind of follow the same trend. So you're trying to find a some kind of trend line to connect all this data, okay? And you want to find the best line possible, okay? Now, and I, ideally, this trend line would go through every point. Ideally, you'd find some equation, y equals mx plus b, that works for this point and works for that point and works for that point and it works for that point. So ideally, you'd find an equation that fits all of them. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do is uh, set up the mathematics to, to try to find an equation that fits all of them. So if it actually worked and fit this point, the y value would be a seven and the x value would be a 12. So we'd say y equals m x plus b. So we're saying, so here's some equation that makes that work. And it has to also make this one work. The y value for that is a six. The x value for that is a seven. So we're plugging in an x for seven and a y, or seven for x and a six for y. And then we'll write down that similar approach for all the points. So we've got these equations, okay? And it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them, okay? And if we write this in matrix form, our variables, we only have two variables, M and B. So this column, this variable column has only two, okay? However, I have six rows because there's six different equations. So if you read off this, this first row, this would be saying seven, equals 12m plus 1b, and 6 equals 7m plus 1b, and 7 equals 6m plus 1b, and so on. Okay, so this is our way of writing it. This thing here we'll call the matrix A. So there's our matrix A. We'll call this X, or I suppose you could call it Z if you wanted, whatever you want. And this is our matrix B. And solving this is a little tricky because we don't have the same number of equations as unknowns. Or in other words, this matrix A isn't a square matrix. Now, I'm, th again, this course, our objective is not to, to uh, show you all of the linear algebra here. It's just to use some of it and kind of give you some of the, the feel for this in engineering. So uh, the value for X can be solved by doing what we call least squares fit. So X is this formula where you take a t times b oops i forgot something in the formula this would be i need a minus one up there okay so uh this formula here a t b we can do in our uh, computer code what a t stands for is something called a transpose so after you've entered in matrix a you can create the matrix AT by using this uh, function transpose, which is also provided in the matrix class. Okay, so that you'll do A transpose times B. You'll do A transpose times A. Call that whatever you want. I don't know, call it uh, Q. And then you'll have to do Q inverse and then multiply that by whatever you got from the A transpose B. And that result would be X, and then you should print it out. Okay, now go ahead and try the, the problem on the 